Hello, I'm Jill Dawson, an educator, artist, and maker who likes to light things up. Today I'll be talking about an innovative way to combine electronics, coding, and artistry into a form of making that's often underrepresented at maker fairs, the writing process. Through an electrifying practice referred to as notebook hacking, design thinking is being applied in classrooms and beyond to transform ordinary paper books and journals into 21st century notebooks that tell stories and add layers of meaning with the integration of carefully crafted text, artwork, and circuitry. A notebook that has been hacked may be responsive to touch, lighting up, blinking, or playing a tune in response to light, the flip of a paper switch, or the presence of sound. Notebook hacking is journaling on steroids. The 21st Century Notebooking program started gaining traction amongst an innovative group of educators in the summer of 2014, resulting from a collaboration between the National Writing Project, Education Innovator, CV2, and NextMap. Envisioned as a way to help educators integrate the next generation science standards into authentic experiences grounded in design thinking, notebook hacking has taken root in classrooms and artist studios across the country, inspiring teachers and students of all ages to work side by side to practice electronics, circuitry, and coding as part of their everyday learning. While some advanced notebook hackers have devised ways to connect their journals to Wi-Fi, such as MIT doctoral student Natalie Freed, who created a hack that receives real-time data which lights up circuits in her journal based upon the position of the tides, anyone can try their hand at notebook hacking using a handful of easily accessible supplies. All you need to get started is a paper notebook, some copper tape, available online and in hardware stores, a coin cell battery, an LED, clear tape, and a binder clip. With just these supplies, you can create simple circuits to illuminate your words and illustrations, to add nuance and layers of meaning to your stories. Many people new to notebook hacking have found the tutorials and templates published on the Chibitronics website helpful. Additionally, a product called Circuit Stickers, also available online, is a great gateway tool for learning about circuitry and coding. Invented by MIT doctoral student G. Key, circuit stickers are adhesive-backed components that may be used to create simple and complex circuits with a variety of special effects. As your skills increase, you can add a soldering iron, surface-mounted LEDs, sensors, and ATtiny85 microprocessors to your toolkit with the added benefit of making your notebook blink, flash, play music, or respond to light. The size of a thumbnail, the ATtiny85 is a tiny chip which may be programmed with an Arduino board to control the lights and sensors in your notebook in increasingly sophisticated ways to help you communicate your ideas. While some educators have been hesitant to try notebook hacking in their classrooms, citing concerns that adding coding and crafting will take time away from the mechanics of writing, others have found it an effective engaging way for students to solve problems, collaborate, and communicate effectively while addressing a host of standards and increasing their creative capacity. After all, writing is making. Writing with lights, sensors, and code allows students yet another tool to express ideas and think about the choices they're making when they're composing text, and how the use of circuitry may add to their desired intent and meaning. In the words of Dr. Mia Zamora, an associate professor of English at Keene University, quoted in an article written by Howard Rheingold, if we can transform our understanding of writing process as a making process, it opens up different gateways to writing. To learn more about notebook hacking, please visit nextmap.org, chibitronics.com, or Google Plus's 21st Century Notebooking Community. The music in this podcast, titled Air Hockey Saloon, was composed by Chris Zabreski under a Creative Commons attribution license.